Well, he was a beloved fixture in L.A. city politics, and many of his friends and family came to say goodbye and remember former city councilman Bill Rosendahl, who died following a four-year battle with cancer. Gil Reyes has more. A memorial service at St. Monica Catholic Church for former Los Angeles City Councilman Bill Rosendahl. Rosendahl's brother Tom attended, so did elected leaders past and present. They remembered the gregarious politician's accepting nature and how he opened his home to everyone. Rich or poor, it didn't matter. I mean, you could go to Billy's house and see a billionaire and a homeless person there and Billy holding court. Rosendahl passed away on March 30th after a long bout with cancer. He was 70 years old. He served eight years on the LA City Council, championing the underdog. Anybody marginalized had a seat at, at his conference room to talk to him. Uh, he hugged everyone he met. Uh, he saw that there was an intrinsic dignity in every single person. He did everything he could to get me off the street and it resulted in my housing, which I'm in to this day six years now. And also Bill, who uh, in my hard times, you know, he, he would answer the phone every time I would call. Never went to voicemail. Never. Long before elected office, the Vietnam-era Army veteran was already making waves. As an activist and cable TV talk show host, he wasn't afraid to ask local leaders the tough questions. Like Mayor Villaraigosa, he gave me a couple grillings to start us off. Uh, and then... He, Miraculously, he chose public service. And he was able to take that celebrity and, and, and bring it to politics with a flair. And I don't know if, if we'll ever see that again. Rosendahl was also the first openly gay elected city council member, championing LGBT rights from within City Hall before it was mainstream. He, he made it possible for elected officials uh, who were slow in coming to the uh, LGBT cause. Uh, he, he, he educated them in a not in a pedantic way, but in a loving way, and uh, got them to come over to his point of view. He was against war, but he loved the veterans, and he, you know, I just didn't know anyone that had that big of a heart. Oh, and I was glad I was able to see him on the Saturday before he died, and visit with him many times, and I loved him and. Uh, we're going to see him up in that to heaven one day. In lieu of flowers, the public was asked instead to make donations to one of Bill Rosendahl's favorite causes, helping the homeless. In Santa Monica, Gil Reyes for LA This Week. You can still make donations in memory of Bill Rosendahl. Some of his favorite charities included Safe Place for Youth, New Directions for Veterans, also the Jeff Griffith Youth Center for Gays and Lesbians.